Hello comrade, the last time we spent some time building our farm and uh, now we can kick off the fabric factory and get the show rolling. The ball rolling? Yes. Get the ball rolling. See ya! The last episode I wanted to build a pump and uh, what came out of it was a farm setup. I'm very sorry, sometimes these things happen in workers and resources. Um, farm setup will consist of a medium farm and a silo and two more silos and uh, yeah, eight, uh, eight big fields and four small fields. Which would uh, help with our construction, uh, constructed fabric factory, which is nearly finished. Um, the big question was, how dirty are we here? <laughs> it's the uh, dirtiness problem. Yeah, will be shortly relieved <laughs> by the question of the questions. Yes. Mm. I want to have another building. Build me this one, please. Oh, it's also... Is it in construction? Put in some comrades. Put them to work. Um, so... Maybe we reallocate here our intelligence um, from this one to... This is also already occupied this one isn't yeah we'll be a little bit unhappy but whatever okay background is um, last winter we saw that this uh, last building suffers a little bit from the uh, really really uh, long distance from this one which has a quite long distance from the heating plant so 700 meters pipe plus uh, the distance which goes through the air <laughs> wow where do we go um, <laughs> nice uh, it's a uh, moon based heating um, so yeah quite a long distance we also pass here in addition to the 700 meters uh, especially the last block didn't like it as much so we put our super soviets here in this one uh, they should have a long and happy life not so happy anymore because they get relocated yeah 50 percent happiness comrades if you run away you get into trouble 41 intelligent people um Soviet experts, as they are called. Get them into the school and into the hospital and do nothing else. Um, we also want additional Western people. This one's full, or nearly full. Also full. Hmm? Getting limbs from problems. So, yes. We are kicking and uh, screaming and doing and producing. Um, this one, please make a break. So, we need a water quality of uh, 85%. <laughs> And uh, the question would be, are we able to pump it out of the field pump here? The field pump produces 86%. Yeah. Fantastic. Uh, I think we should be very, very, uh, very, very aware that we shouldn't place here any more buildings or fields or whatsoever. Because the pump seems to don't like this that much. Uh, 
it cares more about place buildings than about air quality. At least I hope so because uh, our air quality will degrade further. We are actively working on it. Um, we need our comrades to change the plan and the plane of existence. So, here. Are we delivering people? Maybe yes, maybe no. No, for sure. Okay. Uh, we need to switch our production from a fabric based production to a. Let's say more uh, crop based production because we can produce our own fabrics now. Transition is a little bit. Uh, we need to clear out our uh, fabric trucks, change the roads basically, change the load out. Um, we need here chemicals and uh, crops so we can load in the chemicals already our trusty trusted uh, he's he has uh, so buy me chemicals and unload load wait ah he unloads unload uh, chemicals so he's the emergency chemical transport Twenty tons of crops gains us five tons of fabric, in addition to uh, hundred workers and zero point five zero point five tons of chemicals. Yes. So uh, let's see what we gain by going backwards into the production chain. The moment we buy our fabric, which cost us uh, five hundred fifty four hundred fifty rubles per ton. And we produce half a ton of uh, half a ton of clothes from it, and clothes are sold for here we are one thousand five hundred uh, one thousand five hundred rubles per ton. So uh, yeah, uh, half of it. <laughs> okay, now it's get, it's getting worse. Yeah. Um, so we buy for 450 and we sell for 750 basically at the moment so uh, yeah we make 300 rubles uh, surplus per ton of fabric we buy and now it's getting even nicer so for five tons of fabric we need 20 tons of crops in addition, 0 0.5 tons of chemicals. For 10 tons of fabric, we need 40 tons of crop and 1 ton of chemicals. So for 1 ton of fabric, we need 4 tons of crops and 0 0.1 tons of chemicals. So how much will 1 ton of fabric cost us? <laughs> 4 tons of crops are very cheap. Let's keep an eye on the price where are my crops yeah the crops 5 tons of crops 18 rubles uh, let's make it 20 so uh, 5 tons of crops uh, represent 80, 80 ruble uh, in addition we need 0 0.1 ton of chemicals where are they 0 0.1 these were 1000 <laughs> 1200 rubles so uh, 0 0.1 ton is 120 rubles so yeah one ton of fabric costs us 200 uh, ruble plus the workforce so we put our costs in half here which is really great mm. all we have to do is pay for our people which is even better if you producing uh, other things for our people so we don't have to pay for them as much like food or meat but uh, this is not our objective our objective is to make money and to, uh, to <laughs> deliver our plan so uh, I think 
uh, the plan um, 10 years is the maximum I said for the radio station but I think we will be much faster but we'll see we'll see it's really no problem um, to find out okay next one is ready to go um, how we are looking on the education front is free they are ready to get some patience so let's get our friends from the western side 140 additional workers um, yeah the okay groundwork stage is there is fine so we can raise up a new building if you want to propagandize our people to no end The new standardized system uh, setup is uh, Comrade Lenin, uh, two red stars, and one of the smaller ones here for every ho block, housing block. What is here? The how we doing? How we should do? Put this in here. Put this in here. Tell our crew. <laughs> I'm really not sure if our crew is still our crew or if some people are missing here from our setup. Mm, uh, make this happen, please. And the people are running. They really like their monuments. Ten. Okay. Yeah, it seems if, if you have local jobs, people always prefer the local jobs and if the local jobs are saturated, they go to the bus station. Um, but we want a strong economy because we want to earn the heck out of the... Ah, our, our station is ready. So let's let's try to not hurt too much our little brain. My, my little brain. Uh, sorry, don't want to insult anyone. Uh, my little brain, how we do it. So go here. If he wants to go here, we can delete everything he has. Okay. Load crops. And chemicals. And unload. So we are at the border. We load. Chemicals and crops. And we uh, unload at the border. Close stuff. We unload our chemicals and crops to 90% and we load close stuff. Okay. Next one advanced setup. Load me the maximum of the chemicals 100% uh, crops. So we need. We need. 0.1. A ton of chemicals for one ton of crops. This is uh, less than one percent. So what we do here is we say our trusted cover toll. He should take ninety percent of crops and um, ah, the chemicals. Yeah, these ones. Um, and 10% chemicals. So we waste 90, uh, we waste 10% transport capacity. He will always uh, load to 10% on his limit, because if we say here load something for 10%, uh, it will add up. He does not care how much uh, should be here. Yeah, load. We cannot control what he loads. Even if we say something like this, um, the next trip he comes around, he also uh, additionally load 10%. So. He will fill up with chemicals which we really don't want to. So the advanced system is done. Um, next thing is he need to unload also here the fabrics because he has loaded fabrics. Yes. And you don't go to the depot, you go to your second station. Okay. Next one. Um, 
If we told him to unload all need. Yeah. So I don't want him to unload their clothes. But it doesn't matter in the bigger picture, but it would be confusing if he loads and unloads. Ah, unlo unload and not load. See? Good that we talked about it. Okay. So this one can go. This one. You go here. Mm. Yeah, nice. Yes, everything copied. Let's hope for a smooth transition. Transition should be. Um, and you go here. Let's change our modus of, of operation. Okay. And you go there. Oh, you are okay. Go to the border. It's okay. Make some money. Okay. Now we need to uh, tweak our setup here. We want ten tons of ten percent of chemicals. 10% of uh, this, 10% of that. Do we want maybe something like this and this here? Okay, so we have left uh, 60%. Nice. So, how we are looking? Uh, 300 tons of crops. Uh, seven tons of chemicals should be fine. Um, 48, 45 tons of fabric. Um, I don't need so much. I'll let it be. It's okay. We'll be fine. Close. We have 32 tons, which is plenty. Yeah, we'll be fine. I think it will be always empty because um, the constraining factor why our comrades will uh, circle around to the border and back are the crops. Uh, they will take, they will load out a lot of crops and uh, take out some of the produced um, produced clothes with them, because uh, by volume the crops are far higher. Today no coffee, tea, comrades. Cheers. Okay, so we hopefully activate, let's look for the water and is this thing operational? Chemicals, yes. Water import. Water import, no. Water export, no. Mm -hmm. What's going on? No water here. Uh, water here. Do we have a water pipe problem? Connection? Not connected. Looks good. Looks good. So what's comrades fabric? Oh, here we should. This one should follow. What's comrades fabric factory's problem? Um, no workers. No resource missing. Yeah. Actually, I search for the water. Do we have water here to pump? Pump, pump. Uh, actually, no. So it must be somewhere here. Activate the piper. Pump. Pump. We are connected. 
Uh, something fishy here. No, it's fine. I think somebody is screaming at this screen. Um, I bet you this one should be there, not there. Yep. Thank you, workers and resources. Fantastico. Okay. Okay. Don't worry. Everything is fine. Build me this. Build me this. Do it quick. A little bit of gravel, a little bit of everything, which is the most... This is the thing which stops the most uh, that everything will be delivered here. Hopefully the comrades are free, but I think they are free because uh, we have n not many construction projects on the way. Um, the road building crew, yes. Ooh. Ooh. Found their own things? Oh nice, but <laughs> this one not? Okay. They really wanted to start farming. Hmm. Okay. Nice, nice. Well, we have uh, fabric for 10 work days. Which I don't think our super duper crew will manage. We'll see. Half of the things are here. Comrade Flatbed is also here. Where are you? Oh, nearby. Is this one the new one? No. This one shall be the new one. I think. Maybe not. Maybe this one is. The... I don't know. Yeah, let's let's uh, build another one. I said at the beginning this. Uh, Whole town is made for 3,000 people, um, around 2,000 workers. Now we are at half of the population. The critical thing is the, um, the shopping center. If you look here, um, we can take care of uh, 100 something people regarding on the happiness of and productivity of our sellers. But it uh, it is around 50 people, so. If you imagine a double of, of this population, it's really not a big, big margin of error, so to speak, until the shopping center gets overfilled. <laughs> so, we uh, better keep our people happy. Otherwise, funny spiral will go on. Okay, let's hope our transition here will not bankrupt us financially. Because uh, it's also, is this in thin line next one five work days one truck come on oh water Water. 
No workers. Yeah, this one we can solve. Workers. And uh, let's activate our last bus. Which is sitting there waiting like a champ for his glorious entry to deliver work for us. So this one is for stabilization of our production. Uh, so we want... Uh, what is this one? Ah, it's meat. Yeah. Okay. Uh, alcohol. So if it gets too full, uh, he will unload. Uh, but I doubt it will be. The warehouse here. Um, if... It gets too empty of chemicals, which I also doubt will happen. It will uh, load, and if this one, so if you have under 10% of, let's make it, let's leave it a bit 30. If we have under 30% of fabric, he will bring us some extra fabric. Um, so I hope uh, it will always run on high gear, so to speak. So, yes, we make our, no, no. No crops. <laughs> okay. Um, is there something wrong with the crop supply? Let's see. Comrade. It's going to the border. Loading crops. Because this was really fast. Losing all the crops. Comrade. It's returning with... Ooh. What's that? Ah. <laughs> okay. Um. Oh, I hate it. Freaking gooey. If <laughs> if you click here and uh, use change change this, the gooey will jump. Which. <laughs> Which is not good. Uh, yeah. For a little misunderstanding how much uh, crops we will want to buy in the border. Yes. Show can go on. Um... This one can start without people. How's our situation? Okay. Not bad, not bad. Yeah. Uh, maybe we give them some more doctors um, get them all healthy as quickly as possible okay so because our road construction is a little bit on the lazy side I wanted to have my main road here constructed my main uh, people road Maybe we'll start with this one. And that one. Making our glorious uh, Republic even more glorious. And this one. And what is this? This is not good. Of this, get rid of this. Get this. Do that. Hope for the best. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, nice. 
Um, I think this one is not... Oh, okay, it's long enough. Fine. This one could also be modernized. How we are looking here? Okay. I think uh, water treatment plant will not go under. So are uh, there... Let's see and wait. But not too long. <laughs> so this one is still toodling around... Yeah. 94%, which is absolutely nice. And... Um, <laughs> Always, always pump the water out of the ground. Never pump them out of the ponds. Um, because it's critical how much water, uh, how much chemical you need to treat your plant. Um, can there? Yeah, there can people. Um, absolutely critical. So if you uh, put in worse water, you will need more chemicals and uh, your productivity of your plant will not reach your maximum. We are far, far away from it, but yeah, uh, can go wrong. 13 cubic meters. So, like I said, uh, 10 cubic meters per thousand people. We are now at 1,300 people. Works like a charm. So, we have 13 cubic meters of water, a little bit more. Always leave yourself very good room. But uh, this 10 cubic meters per thousand people uh, formula, nice and easy. Yes, yes. So. And so. Let's stop this one. Don't want to start it. Are we happy with the super placement of our um, fields? So nice and quiet here. Maybe we stay here. Like, <laughs> uh, the atmosphere of our industrial complex. Now we are talking. Yes. Okay. Grant them um, road access here. This one isn't. This one is. Oh, can take a mechanization. Also, I want to upgrade this road here and there. So, we are waiting for mechanizations. What do our comrade bulldozers do? Our bulldozers are sitting. Yeah, uh, okay. They are on the road, bulldozing, <laughs> literally on the road, uh, bulldozing away. So for the first time we have nothing to build here, which is a little bit strange. Construct me this one, please. Um, our storage is filling up again. I want, I want an alarm uh, for my dollars. Okay, we're in a transition period uh, down from 50,000. Um, let's hope our productivity comes back. So do we sell our stuff? Or did I made something wrong? Load. Yeah. I think they need to produce the maximum amount or to push them out. Do we allow? Yeah, we allow close. And they should load it. Ah! Oh! Found the error. So. <laughs> hmm. 
Our uh, totally and utterly completely simple setup. Where's the last one? I see, th I see three. Ah, this one is the last one. Okay. Mm. They have no capacity for <laughs> close. Yeah. They don't. Um. The funny thing about the advanced setup is this capacities are not uh, exclusive so uh, if you have 100% crops and 100% close uh, he load whatever up to this percentage and uh, if he has space he load it up for example after 50% he will load up if he don't have space uh, he load as much as he can for example for the close so he, he will uh, load everything up but he cannot take close away even if it's here they could make a, maybe they should make a explanation mark because it's fairly easy to check on a logical level that this one cannot transport um, the good I requested. Yeah, but uh, this would be easy, right? Right. And uh, easy we don't want to. But bankruptcy we also don't want to. So let's check. So our money operation back in operation. Can we build another one here? Yes, we can. We are here in a state of uh, there's not much to do. Let's reallocate. Here you are, make me money. Yes, yes, yes. Here we go. Is the crop full? No, it isn't. What are you <laughs> What do you do? Unload? Crop? 100%? Mm. Let's edit the line. Yeah, unload 100% of the crop. And this one we don't need because they should be clear. Should not drive always with wrong. Okay. Okay, we're making money. <laughs> Thank God. Um, we are positive on the crop. This was the yeah, we need more fabric. We need more workers. I think. Always need more workers. Are we now on uh, for bus duty? Yep. Okay. Monument is up. Do we? No, we aren't. Oh. Okay. Hmm. So let's hope we can place a strategic monument here. I bet you I won't, will not hit it. You will get your monument, comrade. Okay. Are we on the road business? Road? Road? Yeah, most important one doesn't have a road. Okay. Nice.
our fields are graveled up. Perhaps so, there was the bigger fields. Mm, help me with the bigger field. This one here. Okay, nice. So now we are here. We are here. This is the short one. This one is a little bit longer. Let's connect them up here. Looks right English here and it looks terrible from here. What's that? Black magic. Maybe I will get from rid of the silo anyway. Let's see. This field comes out here, so we go out here. Road crew, and gravel drops. Okay. So because this is subject to change, we maybe. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Comrade ran away with this crane. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Um, so next thing, um, we stabilize our workforce and uh, yeah, nice crops are rising. Um, money is also rising because we <laughs> managed to export our goods. Uh, dollars are falling, so so uh, we need to be careful. People are rising, happiness is nearly 80%. Uh, what is our loyalty? Yes, falling. No, it's rising 38%. Nice. That's nice. Um, okay. This one will be peculiar. I bet you it will burn if I start to grab this one up. But uh, that one I can. Make sure they get the call. No. Did I did I assign them to here? Oh, I think I assigned the people crew to them. Uh -oh. Completely wrong. Let's see? So you are uh, assigned to roads which you shouldn't be. Foot footpath is okay. Okay. So let's make this one happen. Um, I bet you he's in the way if he want to build something here. 
Ja. Maybe like so. Ugh. It's dead. Maybe like... What is your idea of... Basically everything. No. So we can go here. Let's gravel up the pub for the pub situation. It's okay. No mechanization, so uh, let's help them with the people. Situation at our mini border is relaxed, which is always good to see. One is waiting, are the people turn? Yep, no people here. Also, this one. If I import people, I'm basically at zero money. Ah, moment of truth. Yes, yes, yes. But <laughs> if, he, if he reaches this one, maybe he doesn't reach this one. But this one is super propagandized, so he has this one and this one. Yeah, nice. Okay. Maybe we uh, build some of these little buggers also for the factory factory area. Here we are uh, absolutely no propaganda on the way, which is a shame. Ah, this one food part I assign to the people, yeah. looks nice and stable. Fire! Kindergarten. 